Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, my name is Andre, I'm a developer at CakeDC. Uh, today I'd like you to tell about a few tools we've been working on recently. So our first goal was to create a tool would, that would help beginner developers or non PHP developers to easily set up CakePHP and get it running. We wanted to remove as many barriers as we can uh, to make it a very easy and straightforward, pretty much one-click experience. So I'd like to introduce you Oven. It's a single file. It's a single file PHP script that you can upload to your server, run it. It will check it if you got everything you need to run Cake PHP, PHP version, required extensions. You can specify database credentials such as the connection. Uh, it will download Composer if needed and create a Composer pro uh, Cake PHP project for you. So you can install Cake PHP pretty much only using your mouse. Uh, our second goal was to make it easier to manage Cake PHP plugins in your app and discover new plugins. There is a ton of great, great plugins. Pretty much any common problem can be solved using an existing plugin. So we wanted to encourage people using them and make it easier to find the plugin that fits you. So we've created Mixer. It's actually been publicly released today. And Mixer is a Cake PHP plugin that allows you to discover and manage, which is install, uninstall, update other plugins from within the app using web interface. It starts amongst all the packages on packages with type Cake PHP plugin, and Cake 2 plugins are excluded. Uh, so after hitting install, plugin is installed via Composer and enabled in Bootstrap. Oh, on the tech side, it's a single page React.js app. So if you're looking into using React.js in your Cake PHP app, you can have a look into one of the ways uh, integrating it. Uh, so it's also it's, it's utilizing a local API for plugin management and external API for plugin discovery. Uh, so the external API was built using our Cake PHP API plugin. I'll talk about it later. Uh, so demo. So here's Oven uh, repository. The only file you need is on.php. You can download it and upload it to your server uh, and just run it. You that's what you'll see. Uh, you can choose the PHP, uh, Cake PHP version, uh, choose whether you want to download a composer or using a local one, set database configuration, and we added this install mixer plugin checklist today. So after you hit install Cake PHP, I'm not going to do it because it's going to take a few minutes. That's what you get, would get. So check the, if the directory is writable, check the required extensions, composer, and and creates Cake PHP project. Uh, so after that, you can hit go to your Cake PHP app, and yeah, this is a fresh Cake PHP app. Everything is configured, and there is also go to Mixer plugin. So that's that's the plugin in your app, and so you can browse uh, top top start package plugins top downloads last week, and new releases, new plugins. And you can search for something. Let's say bootstrap, bootstrap. Here we go. Uh, let's say this one, bootstrap UI plugin. You can see the readme file and so on. So let's install it. OK. That may take a while. So yeah, it's it's basically installing it using it's drawing composer require. Uh, and yep, you go. So also you can uninstall plugins from from within the app and up see if there is any new version available and update your plugin. Uh, okay, let's here you go. So it's installed, you can uninstall it now. You can see in has been added to Composer, and Bootstrap was updated. 
Uh, yep, that's that's about it on mixer. Uh, then a couple more thi more things I want to tell you about. Uh, so our future plans is add more configuration and optimization options to Oven and Mixer, and the next big goal is to create a platform or a marketplace where CakePHP plugin developers could monetize their effort by providing premium support and selling premium plugins, and CakePHP users could support plugin developers and request new features. 